Right, we're on. Is this cheating or is it just a golf experiment? Matt Fitzpatrick does this, Victor Hovland's close to this, and Pete Cowan's been banging on about this. I'm going to try it for the first time ever. So this is genuinely my first attempt at this. Pete Cowan, Matt Fitzpatrick, rave about it. Um, I'm not sure rave's the word. Victor Hovland, he's close. We're talking grip here. Victor Hovland removes the interlock ooh, or overlap to a 10 finger to encourage the bounce to work more so his trail hands lower. Matt Fitzpatrick does the opposite. Similar idea though. So Hovland's in there using the bounce. Matt Fitzpatrick is left hand down. Now, <laughs> I've never done this before, but I can completely see how left hand down is going to stop the wrists from breaking pretty much instantly on the way through. But I, I can't interlock or overlap doing that. That does not feel comfortable just from these couple of swings here. I just feel as though a 10 finger grip, as long as both hands are touching, are probably pretty good. But I can feel the resistance on the way through here that that's never going to bend. And I've seen guys chipping, oh, if the left hand's down, it's much harder to get that. It's much easier, so you can still do it, but it's much easier to keep a flatter left wrist, the number one imperative of the golf swing for all shots, including putts. So, without further ado, let's give this a bash. I'm not super confident about this. I've got 54 degrees here. I'm really just trying to putt it, left hand down. A lot of guys do. Okay, a lot of guys do putt left hand down now. And listening to Pete Cowan, I can understand why this would work with short game. If you can control strike. Now they're pretty good actually. I can really feel, so I chunked that one, but I can really feel the bounce of the club, the back end of that golf club, the flange, interacting with the turf. Um, and I guess that's the idea. So we use the club more correctly. I feel as though gripping down a little bit further as well with the right hand, which is my trail hand. It'll always be my trail hand, regardless of which way the hands are. So it pops up, lovely. It's actually quite good. I'm going to open the face, see what happens. A little bit longer swing. Hmm. So probably an important thing to talk about here is the mechanics of how this works for Matt Fitzpatrick. Left hands down, back of the club interacts with the ground more, great. It encourages more body turn because there's less risk going on, great. Now, Pete Cowan mentioned in a video that the reason this is so successful is because the wrists are in line with the club shaft for the entire stroke. When I take my grip there, left hand down, the wrists are in line with the club shaft for the entire strokes. If I get to here and I turn around to you guys, my wrists are in line with the shaft. And I follow through to there and I turn around to you, my wrists are in line with the shaft. So I guess it's quiet wrists, which is going to keep them in line with the shaft. So for putting left hand down, it's a no brainer. It's going to prevent that sort of flipping action with the putter. But with pitch shots and chip shots, I guess it's going to keep the left wrist more flat, more neutral through impact and encourage the bounce to work as mentioned before. So that's all good stuff. So there, and if you visualize your wrists being in line with that club shaft for the whole motion, then the body starts to really work. I can see and feel that. I thought I'd hold it. I thought I'd hold that one. Now, let's open this and just see. Okay, pops up. I've not got the feel for that, I don't think. Well, maybe. Let's open it even more. Would you do it in this shot? Knifed it. Nope. So now I have a little 9 iron chip and run. So obviously less loft here. Um, I'm very good. <laughs> I'm very good. I played Lynx golf as a junior. I grew up in Lynx golf, so I'm very good at keeping the loft off. So keeping the flat left wrist through impact. Um, left hand down. See, now, now, now with this shot, because I've got the handle forward, I feel as I want to do some funky overlap thing. But let's not, let's just keep it 10 finger. But I don't want to use the back of the club so much now. I want a little bit more leading edge. Not to dig in, but feel that. Oh, that was good. 
Oh, that's maybe changed the whole game. I've genuinely never tried this before. I, uh, I normally, if I'm doing a video like this, will experiment a little bit. But I'm not with this. So left hand out. I'm not saying I'm going to stick with this. That does feel good though. I, just, I, don't, I don't know if it feels good. It feels... Um, controllable. <clears throat> I can feel, so I feel as I've got less power, so the body needs to be a little bit more aggressive. And you can see Fitzy when he does it, Fitzy, because we're best pals. When he does that, he's a little bit more aggressive than I am, so he's there. Boom. <laughs> a little bit of aggression. So, is this good? Is it good for my game? It's not doing it any harm. It's worth experimenting with, it might be great for your game. That wasn't so good. It might be great for your game, but there's only one way to find out, isn't there? Now, this is where I feel I'm going to struggle. Okay, I've got myself. Wait for it. One, two, three, four. I've got 18 yards to the front of the green and another five yards to the pin. So now I'm... I'm looking at this and I'm being a little bit handsy in my normal swing. With my right hand lower, I'm being a little bit more loose to help that up that was a shocking shot but you get the idea now with this how do i generate that energy when i'm adding loft to it that there's there seems very little control there on the longer swing that's what i'm trying to say god that's a terrible demonstration with my own grip <sighs> see this is where fitzpatrick's so good I don't feel as though I can get to the bottom of that ball like I do with my right hand down. See? That's the problem. If I take the loft off, so don't add loft, I've got a chance to hit the pin, but there's no control. This is where I find I would struggle with it. I've, oh, I've given myself a great lie there. I don't know how I'm going to be able to... ...find it through the back. That's a problem. But with these little ones here, where you just need to carry it five or six yards over the, the fringe, I feel as though you could be quite successful with them. But I think it's too big a risk to be adopting a grip just for one little shot, which is the, probably the only time I would use it. <clears throat> there's, there's lots of control of the bounce there. Great on this shot. I get that, let's just try something here. So then I put my right hand down there. It's just as good. I am, um, I'm not changing. <laughs> That doesn't mean you shouldn't change. That doesn't mean you shouldn't experiment with that. Try everything. Golf's hard. We know golf's hard. Experiment with everything. Try with everything. Let me know in the comments box below how you got on. It may work wonders for you. Just doesn't suit my game. It's not for me. Thanks very much, Matt. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.